Oh, it's a very, very common question. You know, people usually ask me, how will I know what God wants me to do based on signs? Usually when you say signs, you're thinking of circumstances, you know. Um, you know, the, the door is opening for me. Should I take it or not? You know, should I, should I transfer a job? Should I migrate to another country? Should I marry this person? Usually people commonly ask for signs. And sometimes they're weird signs, you know, like uh, I'll see a butterfly, white butterfly flying around. Um, I would recommend that instead of looking at signs, supernatural signs, I would recommend that they look for natural signs. Meaning to say, they, you know, there's, you know, St. Paul would say in the book of Romans chapter 12 that we need to have a renewal of our mind, to have the mind of Christ. So instead of, asking God's will for this specific situation. I think what we need is a renewal of our minds so that in any situation, we will know what God wants for us. So, saying that, I'd like to share two things. Number one, God's will, He wants us to know His will. It's not like playing hide and seek, you know, <laughs> deciphering the, the this very exotic, you know, like difficult to understand language. No, it's, it's, he, he wants us to know his will. So that's the first thing. So we're, we're happy to know that God wants us to know his will. But here's number two. God's will is narrow for th situations where there's a right and there's a wrong. We, you know, Jesus said, narrow is the path to salvation. You know, follow the narrow road. Because when it comes to right and wrong, it's really clear. Let's, let's, not, let's not play around with it. You, know, you, you, you will never go into a parking lot and say, Lord, what do you want me to steal? Uh, Toyota ba Lord or, or Mitsubishi? No, it's clear. Don't steal. You know, that's very, very clear. Um, don't be selfish. Um, respect other people. Be kind. There's, there's no... It's, it's very narrow. But when it comes to good and good, choices between good and good, I believe that the will of God is very broad. And people don't understand that. People think that, Lord, where do you want me to go? Lord, do you want me to take job A or job B? And then they're so anxious when in fact it's possible that the will of God is so broad that both job A and job B are in God's will. And, and people think, oh, no, 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 I want God's will for it. No, no. What if God's will is so broad? Because here it is. If God wants us to be, <laughs> he wants to dictate us, you know, no, I want you to go to job A. And then I want you to wear this. And then I want you to go here at this particular time. Why, why did he give us a beautiful, phenomenal brain? Then he should have just taken away our brain and made us into robots. I believe that God's will is broad for choices between good and good because by our choosing, we grow, we mature. You know what? If God want us, wanted us to be robots and tell us what to do, if, if God wanted to say, this is what you do and then this is what you do and this is what you do, we like that because then we can blame Him if something goes wrong. He wants us to own our decisions. He wants us to say, go through the failures, go through the mistakes. You know, choices between good and good, it's an it's a empty canvas. And God puts paint brushes with a lot of paint in front of us. And God says, paint the most beautiful painting in the world. Lord, what kind of style? It's up to you. Lord, what color? Choices between good and good. Go and be the most wonderful human being ever. Thank you for watching Soul Food. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Send your questions over. I hope I can answer them. You can send them through video or just write on the comments section. Thank you so much. This is Bo Sanchez for Soul Food. Always crave for more.